Hey, this is our Bravo transom assembly that we uh, disassembled in a previous uh, video, and we we got down to the to the actual bellows, uh, the U joint and the exhaust and shift. Got the shift cable out, so we've got all of those bellows removed, and we've temporarily uh, reinstalled this bell housing because we're going to go ahead and pull the gimbal bearing uh, right there in the center. Uh, we're going to start with that and then proceed to change all of the bellows and shift cable and get this thing back together. To remove the gimbal bearing we're going to be using uh, Mercury Marine's special tool here uh, for pulling bearings. And to show you what it looks like here, this is the new gimbal bearing. Obviously the old one is installed into the gimbal housing. It basically just slides over the teeth there and then you can just tighten up the claws and then uh, this is wedged up against the, the uh, bell housing here and then you tighten the nut and it will pull the uh, the bearing right out of the housing. Okay, we've got our puller installed uh, into the transom assembly onto the bearing and we've already uh, started turning on it so we've got it broke loose and moving a little bit. That's the old bearing right there. This is the driver setup that's going to get the new gimbal bearing installed. We made a mark here on the outside of the gimbal bearing in relationship to the, the, the grease port, uh, which corresponds with a mark that we made on the gimbal housing. And there's the new gimbal bearing installed in the housing. You can see the mark on about 4 o'clock on the bottom right there. It corresponds with the grease cert here on the side of the uh, gimbal housing. Alright, we went ahead and took loose the, uh, the bell housing here took it off the, the hinge pins that we uh, temporarily put put back in to install the gimbal bearing and we also installed a new inlet water hose here we went ahead and routed it through uh, to the gimbal housing and we also attached a new speedometer tube uh, in this case uh, both of those were melted uh, due to an overheat so we've got a new speedometer tube a new water inlet hose here and we're going to go ahead and replace the trim sending units that we took lo loose uh, earlier and those we, we went ahead and uh, took those um, loose from the the gimbal housing here and they're basically held in by these two two halves here, uh, kind of two half moons that, that come together 
and they go into the into the gimbal housing and they're held in by this plate and a little a little screw uh, that goes into the gimbal housing and it wedges that into the housing and that's what seals it and keeps it from from falling out okay we're gonna go ahead and pull out the old cinders and the wires Okay, we have the new cinders here. Uh, we've got them ran through the hole, and we're going to go ahead and install our our holding plate here. And go ahead and go ahead and pull it through. Then we'll attach our screw. All right, we're now ready to start to install our uh, all of our bellows and boots. Um, just kind of a, a review before we start putting everything, uh, attaching everything, and it kind of gets hard to see. Uh, we've got uh, the sending units that we've we've ran through the top here. We've got our new speedometer uh, hose that will go down to the the uh, lower unit to drive. We've got our inlet water hose here. Uh, we've got our gear lube uh, hose that we've attached under the gimbal housing. Um, at this point, we're going to go ahead and install our U-joint bellows, which is going to attach uh, right here uh, where the U-joint and drive shaft comes through the gimbal bearing, right below it. Right here is going to be the exhaust boot in this particular case here it's going to attach down there and then over to the side where our shift cable comes through we're gonna install the shift uh, cable bellows and <clears throat> we're gonna be using uh, the bellows adhesive uh, the part number on it is going to be 92-86166Q space one and uh, now we're going to go ahead and, and put the bellows adhes adhesive on um, on all of our bellows and let it set up for 10 minutes and then go ahead and install uh, those three items onto the gimbal housing. <laughs> 